In this short tutorial, I'm going to show what motion sensitivity is and how using it can help your retimed result in the case that Twixter has created unwanted warping. When you retime a shot using Twixter and there are elements crossing in front of each other, you might see this unwanted warping in the result. If you're seeing this problem across scene cuts, the tutorial on marking segments will address this issue. In the following examples, the controls may look a bit different, but the settings do exactly the same thing in your host application. In the regular version of Twixter, the way to address this issue is with more or less motion sensitivity. Motion sensitivity limits how much pixels can move. What this means is that if you look at the slider, a value of 0 assures that pixels can't move very much, and a value of 100 allows pixels to move as much as the motion interpolator can calculate. The default value of 70 might sometimes be a bit too ambitious for some material, so you have the ability to try different values to see what works best for each individual shot. If you see unwanted warping, then you might need to turn down motion sensitivity. If you have large motion and you see what looks like frame blending happening instead of warping, you might need to turn up motion sensitivity. You can also keyframe this value, so if you have a problem area, you can keyframe the motion sensitivity. Let's take a look at an example of this. Here's a shot that I've made three times slower. Now let's go to the video event effects controls where we can see the parameters we've set up in Twixter which we've already added. For this sequence I use the default value of 70 for motion sensitivity but it looks like I have a problem area between frames 45 and 85. So I'm going to go back and add keyframes to use a lower motion sensitivity value in the problem area to produce less warping. In this case, the problem area is between 45 and 85. I can add a keyframe at 0 and make it the default value of 70 from 0 to 45, where I can add another keyframe so it will hold at a value of 70 from 0 to frame 45. And then I add another keyframe at frame 46 and make it the value 20, so I have less warping and more blending. I'm using 20 for this problem area, but you just need to experiment to see what works best for each individual shot. I add another keyframe at 85. I will make the value 20 to hold from 46 to 85. Now I will add one more keyframe at frame 86 and make that value 70 again, and that will hold to the end of the shot. Let's go ahead and render the sequence and take a look at the result now that we've keyframed the value. We now have a better result with less warping. So that's how we can use the motion sensitivity value to get rid of unwanted warping in Twixter within your application.